So, in summary, so, som sammanfattning. The Ice Age was a real event not that long ago. Så i tiden var en verklig händelse inte särskilt för särskilt länge sedan. It is a major mystery for evolutionary earth science. Och scientists. Och det är ett väldigt stort mysterium för evolutionär eh, geovetenskap. Noah's flood caused the transitional climate for an ice age. Det var Noahs flod som orsakade det här övergångsklimatet för en istid. The ice age lasted only 700 years. Istiden var det bara 700 år. We don't need 100 thousand years for an ice age. Du behöver inte 100 tusen år för en istid. There is only one ice age. Det var bara en istid. So ultimately, only the Bible explains the Ice Age because of the flood. That explains my title. That explains my title of my talk. And there will be no future Ice Age. A few concluding thoughts. The Ice Age is an example of what can be done with hundreds of other earth science challenges to the Bible. Also, another thing, time is not a side issue. But a young earth time scale sometimes is key to solving major mysteries that have been around for 150 years. Men den här tidskalan som vi får i med tanken på en ung jord är oftast ibland som en nyckel i att lösa de här mysterierna som, som vi har haft och kämpat med i de senaste 150 åren. How so? Varför? Well, they know that volcanoes cool the climate today. Big volcanoes. De vet att de stora vulkaner kyler ner klimatet idag. But, and they know a lot of volcanoes went off during the ice age. Sorry? They know that a lot of volcanoes went off in the ice age. But they stretch all these volcanoes off to ten, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of years. So all this volcanism they see in ice age debris. So all the hash and see like some becomes insignificant in such a large, big time scale. Long time scale. But what if you telescope all that volcanism to within a few hundred years? It becomes a major cooling mechanism for an ice age. Also for the woolly mammoths. They, they know that the, there's a lot of windblown silt in, in Siberia. But they stretch that out to tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of years too. So each dust storm becomes insignificant. In some places in Siberia there's 60 meters of this dust piled up. So, but if you telescope all those dust storms within a few hundred years at the end of the Ice Age, you see dust storms within a few hundred years at the end of the Ice Age. But if you telescope all those dust storms within a few hundred years at the end of the Ice Age, you see dust storms within a few hundred years at the end of the Ice Age. But if you telescope all those dust storms within a few hundred years at the end of the Ice Age, you see dust storms within a few hundred years at the end of the Ice Age. But if you telescope all those dust storms within a few hundred years at the end of the Ice Age, so the short time scale is key to solving the mystery. So the short time scale is key to solving the mystery. More concluding thoughts. The ice age is based on the flood. And if there has been an attempt to ice here, then that's the biggest problem. Therefore, the global genesis flood. Also, so is the global flood. One of the most despised events by the culture. The one that the most despised event by the culture. The one that the most despised event by the culture. Is a real event of the past. If we can believe the flood, if we have evidence for the flood, which there's actually a lot of it out there, and I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. Therefore, it is easy to believe the whole Bible.
not only the history but the spiritual aspects of the Bible. Inte bara historien men också de andliga delarna av Bibeln. Which tell us how to live here on earth hur and how we go to heaven. Som berättar för oss hur vi ska leva här på jorden och hur vi kommer till himlen. And we need to read it and find yeah. out. Vi behöver läsa det. Oops, so don't want that. Yeah. And that's the end. <laughs> <laughs>